Community Viewpoint with John Pollock and Maria Hurst. And welcome once again to Community Viewpoint. I'm John Pollock. Uh, I came back. Uh, thank you folks for standing in for me, uh, the lovely lady from uh, uh, the Chamber of Commerce, and uh, she did a couple segments, and we did reruns because somebody else didn't come in, but it all worked out, and I'm back, and I'm happy to be back, uh, even though I went and I left for Key West, it's still good to be back. Uh, we're going to be talking about some upcoming events that are happening, and we have uh, uh, the honor of having uh, the fire chief from uh, Tacopa and Shoshone, uh, Larry Levy. Uh, he's the fire chief of the, let me see if I get it right, Southern Inyo County Fire Protection District. Did I get them all? Uh, Southern, Southern Inyo, Inyo Fire Protection fire District. Yeah. We'll leave the county out. <laughs> Here's Larry. I've known him for a whole bunch of years. Uh, Larry is going to tell us about <clears throat> event that will be coming up in a couple of weeks, uh, a fundraiser for the Indy Fire Department. So, if Larry, if you want to begin, the show is yours. Sure. Uh, yeah, it's a week from this Saturday, so a week from tomorrow, mm -hmm. uh, November 8th, in Tacopa, uh, at the Tacopa Hot Springs Resort, starting at 10 a.m. Um, the 2014 Firefighter Bazaar and Firehouse Fling. Uh, we, it's our main fundraising event uh, mm -hmm. of the year. We do it every year. Um, we are uh, an independent unit of local government. We're not a county agency. Uh, we don't share in the regular property tax. Uh, we went to our voters and got our own property tax, right. uh, a parcel tax. And uh, it's not enough, so we have to raise some money uh, to do the job. And that's got to be at least 10 years ago that that happened. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I remember that. You almost went dark. And, uh, and there would have been a big hole in the fire coverage because you cover a very large area out there. Let's, let's, let's talk a little about the event before we, we do the, uh, okay. the coverage and stuff, sorry. Uh, so it's going to be at uh, the resort. It's going to be, it's a one-day event? One-day event, okay. Saturday the 8th, uh, 10 a.m., probably until t about 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. We have some events after dark. Oh, cool! That require dark. Some fire dancers. Are they are they coming in from yeah. Vegas? Yeah. Okay. Cool. So, the uh, so there'll be music uh, most of the day, demonstrations by the fire department of some of our new equipment. Um, we may even repeat the uh, firefighter fashion show that we did last year. Oh, I missed uh, that one. Uh, and we have uh, raffle, silent auction and probably one or two items for a live auction mm -hmm. as well. Uh, the grand prize for the raffle is, as usual, is a quilt uh, made by one of our residents. And we, there it is, we took a picture of it earlier. And uh, That's three quarters of it. <clears throat> uh, mm -hmm. It's a queen size quilt made by uh, Marlis Scary, one of our residents out there, and uh, the Pahrump quilters help out with that too. Oh, the Prump Quilters, they're a rowdy bunch, uh, <laughs> bunch of ladies, yes. <laughs> but uh, yeah, some of the other things that will be happening over there, you'll have some food for us? Yes, uh, barbecue, hot dogs, hamburgers, and chicken. Chicken? Uh, with some side dishes, salads, and chips, and beverages. Um, some local uh, music, and... I don't have a full list of the musicians that will be there, but... Uh, Nancy going to be there with her yeah, group? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Nancy, good. Yeah. Like, the okay. uh, Pablo Tacopa and the Dusty Butter Band. Right. Uh, and Pablo is uh, lining up the rest of the entertainment, and I don't have a full list, uh, but okay. should go most of the day. Okay, great. And uh, uh, your whole group of firefighters will be there? Yes. Uh, eight of us. Mm -hmm. uh, present firefighters and EMTs. Judy Palmer, didn't she just get an award for something? She did uh, share in the uh, EMT of the Year award for Inyo County. Um, I don't want to get it wrong. I think she's 71, a retired physician and uh, volunteer with our department. Right, and uh, she's a fellow burner, which is a front. 
which I appreciate. If she can go to Burning Man, she's 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 good for she can do anything. She at her age is probably in better shape than anybody else on the department. Oh, she yeah. spends a good deal of her time hiking the yeah, desert out yeah, here. She'll walk from Beatty to uh, to Copa. You know, she hides uh, water and food along the way, and uh, yeah, so very well. Uh, uh, I don't want to say preserved, that's the wrong word, but she's in extremely good shape and I just hope I'm like that when I get, I'm going to have to start exercising a lot. But, uh, so she's one of the people, Billy Eichenbaum, mm -hmm. he was the MT of uh, Of the year, year, a couple of, two or three years ago. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of the people that you have, you don't have a lot of people, but they do excel. They are dedicated. We are all on call pretty much 24 hours a day, seven days a week, if mm -hmm. we're in in town. Uh, and then on call seven days a week, uh, you just had the uh, uh, that fire out there in Shoshone yeah, also. Yeah, three weeks ago. Yes, and that took a great deal of uh, man and woman power. Uh, well, it took all of ours, and we got help from agencies all around us, uh, Front Valley Fire and Rescue, uh, Nye County Station 51. BLM? BLM, yes. Amargosa came down, mm -hmm. uh, Park Service. NTS or the NSS? Uh, no, no, okay. no. Uh, but uh, engine from the Park Service Okay. and San Bernardino County sent so, an engine and a tender. So. Right, so everybody works together whether or not you have the memorandum of understanding between the two groups. But uh, no one wants to see the, the outcome of a fire that could ravage a whole, whole town, which it could have done in Shoshone. It could have, yes. Yeah. Everybody showed up just in, at, in the nick of time. Yes, if you read the article, and uh, I believe it's the Prump Valley Times I saw it, it was very well written. It gave a blow, blow description of how it happened, but it, every, everything happened in uh, the right order. I was on the well, uh, frozen food aisle at Trader Joe's in Las Vegas when I got the phone call, <laughs> so I was a late arrival. But you made it towards the end, though. But yeah. everybody was there. And it, it, it was, it was uh, staffed very well from the people. So, so nothing dastardly happened. And uh, you, you do uh, a lot on the highways going back and forth between uh, uh, Death Valley and uh, Dumont Dunes. And right. Dumont Dunes is a, I don't want to say it's a death trap, but there's a lot of accidents down there too, so. Uh, we fill in <clears throat> down there when San Bernardino County gets overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll get a call occasionally to Dumont Dunes, but mm -hmm. We cover about 100 miles of highways, uh, state and county roads that are pretty well traveled. We're the su southern entrance to Death Valley. Right. You get a lot of traffic through Pahrump. Um, a lot of Pahrump residents use our highways to get to points south and, and west. Right. Uh, and really fires are a small part of what we do. Uh, we do a lot of medical calls, a lot of motor vehicle accidents. I know one of our district attorneys had a couple of accidents out there too, so thank God there was uh, services out there. I don't want to get into that though, but uh, if you weren't there, you know, who would we call? Who would, who would be called? The um, highway patrol or uh, the, the sheriff's deputy? Yeah, the surrounding agencies would have <clears throat> to fill in and they're uh, a long way off. In Inyo County, they're clear the other side of uh, Death Valley. Yeah, so, so uh, you have a very, uh, your work is very, very well cut out for you over there and we just, we're thankful, I'm thankful that uh, you, you are out there. So your event will be happening when, when again? It is Saturday the 8th, uh, 10 to 10. Uh, raffle prizes as they say, too many to, to mention. Mm -hmm. um, but just some highlights are uh, bus tours of uh, Grand Canyon, uh, Furnace Creek Ranch, uh, overnight and round of golf, uh, hot laps at the racetrack out here. Oh, Spring Mountain? Here. Yeah, at Spring Mountain. We get a lot of support from the businesses in the area. Oh, great. Uh, a room night and a ghost tour at uh, the Opera House. Opera House, yes. At Death Valley Junction. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the room and the ghost tour are separate. Oh, I'm, I'm thinking about, I go past there once a week and there's a uh, new building over there with an art piece. Mm -hmm. uh, Luck, I believe is the name, mm -hmm. Peter Luck. And uh, when we were down in Key West, I was walking and there was, the same name was there, it was, it was sideways. 
So I went in there, and the gentleman that uh, uh, who was ran the place, he, he, I guess, he looked down on me with his nose because I'm not, a, I don't know anything about art, and he knew this this artist that has this uh, small building over there with this art piece in there is well known worldwide. Mm. So I felt very small after I got done with him. But this is a well-known artist. The artist is in China at the time, too, if anybody wants to know. And there are four um, uh, locations in Las Vegas where these art pieces are. So if you want to know a little bit more about it, I know. And then I could put you on to the right pieces. I just fell into that one. Okay. But, uh, I was wondering why somebody would put a building like that mm -hmm. out there in, 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 in no man's land. Yeah, well, it seems the middle of nowhere, but there's actually a lot of traffic. The buses that there. come by. So evidently, he's thinking about the people on the buses that may be buying his art, mm -hmm. taking a picture and seeing who the heck is this guy. Uh, our raffle and silent auction also include works of art by uh, lo some of our local artists out there. Very good. Like what? Like who? Um, Nancy Good. Oh, Nancy? Yeah, she's an artist. She's a photographer, photographer. She's musician. A musician. She's uh, yes, librarian. And librarian, yes, too. I forgot about that. <laughs> um, uh, let's see who else. Um, Stephen Wells, uh, acrylic of the area. Uh, some. Uh, no, actually, those. He's uh, Potter. Stephen Wells. Okay. Uh, so some pots of his thrown, uh, made out of our local clay. Okay. So we just had your emblem up there too. That was your homemade emblem that you just, uh, and that's of a snake with a... It's a rattlesnake with mm -hmm. a, a fire nozzle for mm -hmm. a head. And our slogan is ready to strike 24 seven. Very good. And you, you have patches with those or are you uh, going we to make them? We made some shirts and uh, we'll, with those. I remember we'll have those. some more, yeah. Yeah, I remember those, yeah, I got it. You'll have those available? Uh, not this week, ah. uh, but uh, we'll be making some more of those. Okay. And, uh, we have yet to adopt it as our official emblem for the ah. department. But. Okay. Those would be good on the, on the shirts. Yes, yeah. I remember that uh, logo. But we're just about out of time. If you want to repeat what's happening. Uh, the 2014 version of the Southern Inyo Fire Protection District, Firehouse Firefighters Bazaar and Firehouse Fling. Fling. Saturday, a uh, week from tomorrow, the 8th, at the Tacopa, at Tacopa Hot Springs Resort in okay. Tacopa. You could, uh, uh, 4312 is their number, 760-852-4312 is the number of the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the resort. The resort. If right. you have any questions, you can call us at the fire district, 760-852-4130. With that, that's the end of the program, and we will see you in the next segment. Thank you very much. Thank you, Larry. Thank you, Patrick.